Welcome to the official WPS Office channel. In this video, you will learn how to freeze panes in Excel to make your data easier to read. Also, WPS Office is an office program that helps you create documents, spreadsheets, and presentations for free. Let's jump right in. This is a spreadsheet with more than a thousand rows and several columns. Now, if I scroll down, notice how the header row goes up and isn't visible anymore. Although WPS Office works smartly by showing the content of the first row at the top, the text isn't that prominent and is hard to read. And if I do a horizontal scroll, the first column gets completely hidden without any trace. We need to fix this. Let's go back to the initial state and freeze the header row. For this, go to the View menu, click this Freeze Panes option, and click Freeze Top Row. Now, if I scroll down, notice that the header row stays at the top and doesn't move up. We froze the header pane, but what if I want to lock the first column? Notice that if I scroll horizontally, the first column is still moving. To freeze this, go to the Freeze Panes option again and click Freeze First Column this time. Now the first column is locked and the header row is automatically unlocked. Now, there could be situations where you want to lock both, the first row and the first column. For this, you need to work on this junction point. Get back to the initial state once again and click the second cell of the row and column, which is B2. Go to freeze panes again. Notice this new entry in the list that says that it will freeze all the panes before and above the cell you selected. Click this option. Now, the first row and the first column are locked, and you can confirm this by scrolling the sheet horizontally and vertically. To unlock these rows and columns, go to Freeze Panes and click Unfreeze Panes. That's all for this guide. I hope this video was informative for you. And remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more great tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you next time.